it's your girl Kiki and I'm back with another video so today's video is going to be a what will happen this week I'm not gonna be doing it how I usually do it every other time but um yeah before I get started with this video I want you guys to like comment and subscribe and hit that bell notification to get updated whenever I post I want to say sorry for some of the people that have been waiting on my videos and are actually the real MVP the real OGs okay okay period but um yeah thank you guys for staying with me and you know thank you guys for like all the subscribers that you guys have given me um I'm also going to be shouting some people out in a second um after I get my phone if I can find my phone if I can't find my phone then I'll shout you guys out um in my next video that's going to be posted pretty soon okay so stay tuned for that okay all right y'all I'm back I can finally start. Let me shuffle these cards real quick. Yes, yes, Let's shuffle these cards. All right. So I'm just gonna pull the. Well, not pull the cards. I'm gonna shuffle it and let it fly out. The moon is. Okay. 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 So we got the eight of wands. Okay. So let's start. Let's start with the eight of wands. Let's talk about it. Actually, let's keep it. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. Let's keep it. guys lay down all right what will happen monday april 5th while the moon is in capricorn okay so monday it's going to be a five day so that just and yeah a lot of movement i feel like um a lot of you guys are gonna get some things done especially maybe some of you guys may be going to work on um monday or um I feel like some of you guys may be just um working just like doing like your work like your projects or um just just things that you've been working on maybe for your business or something like that just something that you can earn money from basically but yeah I see you just basically perfecting it um basically yeah just working and i feel like some of you guys just need to remind yourself to like kind of take a break and go outside on monday because you don't want to just keep overworking yourself because you're gonna just kind of um wear yourself out so just make sure you go ahead and you take that break on monday and go outside go for a walk go for a drive if you need to and stuff um yeah but yeah that's what i see for monday um so yeah but yeah but the eight of wands has to do with like movement and just driving you could be like in a vehicle kind of just like some of you guys i hear like vibing like vibing i don't know you tell me all right so um tuesday april 6th the moon is going to be in aquarius so um basically what came out is the four of wands so basically what that talks about is like celebration or like um just basically having a good time so i basically see that some of you guys may be celebrating something or some of you guys may be um getting something that you've been waiting for maybe a manifestation now um maybe some of you guys may be just um just hanging around loved ones um conversating i feel like um a lot of you guys are going to be very confident in yourself maybe confident in your work 
and stuff like that. Um, I do see that some of you guys will be going outside just enjoying the um, sunny weather. Um, I really do see that it's going to be sunny on Tuesday or something like that. So it's a good day to like kind of take your family outside. Um, take them outside for like a fresh walk. Or just take yourself out on a fresh walk. Take your um, animals outside. Um, do something different. Do something that you haven't done before. And just enjoy um, Mother Nature. Right? So that's what I see on April 6th. While the moon is in Aquarius. Um, and you know Aquarius likes to do like new things. Or I've heard that. I don't know if that's actual, actually true. But I've heard like just out of the ordinary like out of the ordinary do something that you haven't done before on tuesday okay so on wednesday i see that um wednesday april 7th i'm actually on roll right now <laughs> like i'm so happy about, about that um wednesday april 7th um the moon is still going to be in Aquarius, okay? So I just see that some of you guys may be, um, so I feel like maybe the day before, just make sure, like, when you're outside, make sure you don't do a lot of spending because you don't want to do, um, you, yeah, I see that. I definitely see that. Okay, make sure that you don't do a lot of spending, um, during the beginning of the week or the middle of the week and, um, try to save your money, okay? So that's what I see because you don't want to, um, kind of, regret about regret like what you've done like in the past or you don't want to look back and be like oh my gosh why did I do that I should have just um kind of you know tried something different or did something you know new but I definitely see that um some of you guys need to slow down on the spending or something like that um, also Wednesday, I do see like maybe some conflict going on. Maybe, um, maybe some of you guys may be getting your feelings hurt by someone, or maybe you guys are going to be getting in a disagreement. Um, maybe not seeing eye to eye with somebody. Um, Chloe, what? This girl is so rude. Say hello to my kitty, y'all. She just loves when I do readings. I don't know why she be over here, but all right, let's let her act up and and learning. But anyways, yeah. So yeah, five of swords. So yeah, I'm just feeling like kind of maybe disagreements. Maybe yeah, like I already said everything. Um, just make sure that you um kind of um maybe um make like I kind of see this like for um. For Wednesday on April 7th while the moon is in Aquarius okay um I think like maybe try to take some time for yourself and go outside I feel like that if you're stressed out if you're um irritated or mad or something like that or whatever it is try to go outside and try to take some time for yourself go for a walk do something um by yourself do something different that you haven't done before um when you maybe get mad or get frustrated or like whatever you know what i'm saying because i feel like um wednesday is going to be a hard day and try to reflect on certain things that you've done maybe a certain behavior maybe the way you treated somebody or something like that um if you did something on purpose try to apologize um try to like you know step up do something different change your behavior or something okay um so for thursday we got the um um thursday april 8th the moon is going to be in pisces okay so i see that um we got the eight of i mean the king of pentacles right um so basically an uh, eight day is all about success ambition motivation um just like you know money um all that stuff so i feel like some of you guys are going to be coming up with like a good money idea so i feel like pay attention to like what you're saying or what you're thinking about on thursday while the moon is in pisces on april the 8th okay because i feel like some of you guys are going to be coming up with like some good money ideas that's going to benefit you and um yeah and that's all that matters that's actually really good for you right um 
but you want to take some time for yourself so you can actually think about like certain things that you want to do and certain things that you want to invest in and you know um and I'm, I'm also hearing like Thursday on April 8th in Pisces, while the moon is in Pisces, I'm hearing like time, like time management or something like that. So I feel like try to manage your time a little bit better. Um, try to manage your finances a little bit better. Um, uh, I feel like um, try to eat more fruits and vegetables. I feel like mostly fruits. I'm hearing like fruits, like maybe grapes or something like that. Or like um, um, strawberries or um, or uh, something red. Like anything red I feel like would be good. Um, or yellow. Um, yeah. You'll also eat like a salad or something like that. But yeah, I do see like um, just to get you like some more energy and get you like going. Because I feel like Taurus, like they're... Um, they can be very motivated and like go 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 but they're also like they also have some lazy um some lazy tendencies right so i feel like um especially if you don't make sure and make sure like you take care of your like health and diet and stuff like that and your energy of course so just make sure that you're good on that and just try to save your money on um try to save your money on um thursday april 8th i mean it doesn't matter like if you want to spend like a little something but like i feel like don't overdo it like you know what i'm saying um try to save it but um yeah that's what i see for thursday so we're gonna move on to friday okay friday april 9th the moon is gonna be in pisces right um so I feel like you guys are going to definitely be thinking about like certain things like I feel like things that hasn't happened for you or things that you just definitely don't want to do but or you like probably I feel like some of you guys just don't have no motivation on um April 9th and yeah like Pisces sometimes they can be like a little dreamy a little lazy um well not well not lazy but have like some lazy tendencies and stuff like that just like Taurus and stuff like that so basically just make sure you get some sleep because I feel like you're definitely going to be over it and you're going to be irritated on um Friday um I feel like you feel like something is not happening for you like something is not coming fast enough or something like you're thinking about you know you're just like irritated like you're just done you're over it but um I feel like I feel like this is like a blessing in disguise. That's what um um that's what spirit is saying. Like this is a blessing in disguise. Um this is going to um benefit you in the long run. So just, you know, kind of you know, release the um negative thoughts and just the doubts and the just whatever that's causing you to not want to like maybe even communicate with people or something like that like I feel like you're gonna be like in your own little corner like you don't want to be messed with or something like that but um yeah but take the opportunity and yeah I see some of you guys may need to take the opportunity to go outside okay some of you guys um you guys get more like rejuvenated I'm hearing like maybe rejuvenated or more energized when you guys go outside or something like yeah so just go outside sit down you know and just you know think about things think about life you know what I'm saying think about your future think about what you want to do um what you got up your sleeve what you want to um invest in you know what I'm, I'm saying like take that time this week to um think about what you want to do in the future you know what I'm saying? And that's a way of manifesting, you know. So you could be killing two birds in one stone, right? Two bird two killing two birds with one stone because you're meditating and you're also manifesting at the same time. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. So basically that's what I see for um Friday. 
um so we're gonna move on to saturday april 10th the moon is gonna be in aries so i feel like april 10th i feel like if you do what i said the day before um definitely april 10th i do see like some y'all need to be drinking some water okay because y'all don't like to drink water but y'all need to drink more water a lot of water especially on saturday for some reason it's giving me just drink a lot of water like drink a lot of water i feel like it's gonna you're gonna want to move around a lot um definitely if you're gonna be talking a lot if you or something like that <clears throat> try to drink a lot of water because it's definitely gonna show you know it's kind of shows when you don't drink a lot of water okay so try to just make sure like you're rejuvenated and you're hydrated also i feel like you're definitely gonna be i feel like you're definitely going to be um feeling a balance w with the um masculine and the feminine energy because we have the king of cups over here but he he's very masculine of course but he's also um, he also has a feminine side to him because, um, water represents, like, feelings, um, or, like, yeah, feelings and, like, emotions and just, um, also, like, water can also represent the moon, um, and the moon is, I don't know, um, a woman or something like that. I don't know, but, like, I just heard that the moon is like feminine or right so like so i'm just seeing that you guys are gonna be balanced basically okay so just drink a lot of water um let me get get some clarifications for um saturday while the moon is in aries okay so let's see yeah so i feel like certain things that you haven't like maybe you have been avoiding or something like that or you haven't been getting done um i feel like some of you guys are going to be doing that on um saturday just getting moving like maybe i feel like some of you guys may need to clean up on um saturday while the moon is in aries while you have the energy to do so and stuff like that but um yeah because i feel like you guys are still going to be feeling that pisces effect um like going into saturday so just make sure you um you just clean up and you make sure that everything is like you know good right um let me see just upright it would be talking about like long-term views and just basically say well like just being smart like um just finding out how to do certain ways finding different ways to make something out of nothing basically you know what i'm saying but in reverse it's kind of like you're not really um you're not really getting them creative ideas. You're not getting creative ideas. I feel like maybe you may have a creative block. But that may be because you're like maybe a lack of eat. Like you're not eating or maybe um, Let's go. you're not eating healthy or maybe you're not drinking enough water. Like I feel like I'm hearing that yeah. for some reason. Okay. Yeah, so, okay, Sunday, April 11th, we have the world, okay? The world has to do with, it, it can also um, talk about, like, wrapping up a karmic cycle. So, I feel like some of you guys may be wrapping up a karmic cycle or maybe um, kind of... Um, Maybe taking a spiritual bath on Sunday. I definitely see that for some of you guys. I feel like some of you guys are taking a spiritual bath. Um, or maybe cleansing your energy, cleansing your home. Um, I feel like some of you guys may be manifesting or maybe... Um, maybe um, drawing a vision board because I kind of see, like, kind of see her drawing a vision board or kind of maybe... Um, doing like affirmations in the mirror and stuff like that or just embracing her feminine energy or embracing her 
um, looks. You know what I'm saying? Um, and if you're a guy, you're like embracing your own looks. You're embracing your masculine energy and stuff like that. But, you know, you you um, kind of taking care of yourself and stuff like that is basically kind of fem feminine because you want to make sure you keep up with certain things and stuff like that. So, um, definitely feeling like um, on Sunday, is, I feel like the people that are going to have the best day on Sunday is Aquarius, Scorpio, um, Virgo, um, Leos, and Tauruses, right? But it could be anybody honestly but i feel like you're definitely feeling yourself um i feel like um i feel like some of you guys may be um seeing a difference in your like um in your weight or something like that or in your body or like maybe some of you guys are getting bigger or some of you guys are getting skinnier or something like that or maybe some of you guys um yeah i feel like definitely a lot of body changes for some of some for some people definitely a lot of body changes for some people um yeah but um yeah let me wrap this up all right so let me pull some oracle cards right to like kind of let us know what's gonna be happening okay like what we should like know for monday let's see monday monday what oracle card for monday Okay, so for Monday, we have, you already have all the answers. Okay, so um, for Monday, if you feel like you're thinking about something and you're, or you're overthinking about something or you don't know how to do something or whatever, I feel like you're stressing about something or like you really want to get to somewhere fast or something. I feel like traveling, like a lot of traveling or something like that or getting somewhere um i feel like some of y'all i feel like some people may be lost um or maybe like just lost in thought but yeah definitely you have all the answers on monday so just know that um so So for Tuesday, we um, you can remember to um, practice self-love on Tuesday. So um, do something to practice self-love. And that is with like yourself and like also the people around you, I feel like. Not just yourself. Like So whether that is going outside, making you some tea, um, doing a mask or something like that. Do something that um, will make your body feel um, better or, you know, more rejuvenated for, you know, the next day. So um, for Wednesday, we have come home to come home to yourself. So I feel like some of you guys may be too much in your head or just maybe... Um, just over exaggerating something so some of you guys may need to um change your perspective in whatever that is conflicting you or whatever just know that just come come back home to yourself you're not grounded right now so <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to go outside because it also says escapist right so escape this has to do with like basically escaping, going, going somewhere, you know, mo going somewhere, you know. So it's like God's side. Come home to yourself. Ground yourself. So it's just telling me ground yourself. Like I'm just it's like and then the red has to do with like root chakra. So that has to do with grounding yourself. Some of you guys need to ground yourself on um, Wednesday, Thursday. Let's see. Thursday. Thursday, Thursday, Thursday. We're gonna have a Thursday. So Thursday just says start a revolution. So yeah, I feel like if you have a um have an idea about something, I feel like um I feel like definitely your um spiritual team is definitely rooting for you. They're definitely saying that you are definitely on the right path. Do what makes you happy, do what makes um the people around you happy um if you have like 
you know just do what makes you happy okay and that's all that matters um um so that's for thursday yeah so definitely test protest okay so for friday you guys y'all supposed to be in a room bye So for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so for Friday, it says be your fir own first priority. Okay, be your own first priority. Okay, so you know, <clears throat> you know, it's loud and clear. So. I don't really gotta explain it, but you know, do do for yourself. Do what you need to do for yourself to um you know to regain energy. Um do something creative to do something creative. Do something creative that like kind of gets your mind off of things, I feel like. Um, because I see the seven and the four and stuff, and then I see the paint on the ground, and that just like kind of screams that creativity to me. So I feel like do something creative that um kind of helps you release things or like helps you like get your mind off of things. Um, so Saturday, let's see what will happen. Saturday, what's the um, messages for Saturday? What's the messages for Saturday? What's the messages for Saturday? Saturday, 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 Saturday. They're trying to get something specific out. Let's see what this is. We're excited. We're excited. What is it? Okay. It says, don't doubt your worth. Yeah, you guys are doubting your worth. Like, whatever you're creating... Whatever you're creating and whatever you're manif manifesting on, like, on Saturday and you're, like, overthinking it, girl, boy, what? Like, who, who, like, who are you? Who are you? The heck? You are you for a reason. Like, you are, you are enough. So, it just says don't doubt yourself, okay? You're, like, so brilliant. You're smart. You know, it says lighthouse right here. You're very smart. You're very creative. You know, you turn something into... I mean, you turn nothing into something. You know what I'm saying? And you're kind of doubting your talents and your creativity. So, just don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Um... If you feel like you're not good at it, practice. You know what I'm saying? Practice makes perfect. Okay? So, period. If you need to um, get a board or get, like, some affirmations and put it on your wall that says, I am enough. Or that, like, speaks about affirmations that you basically doubt, like, um, consciously or unconsciously. Then, well, you, how are you going to know if it's unconsciously, right? So, like... If you, like, doubt yourself or whatever, get, like, some type of affirmation that's, like, a frame that you can just basically hang up. Or get, like, a chalkboard or, like, something you can write on to just write affirmations down and stuff like that. And, you know, you're definitely going to believe in it. You're going to start believing, you know, it. But, yeah. Alright, so, on Sunday, just take things slow, don't burn yourself out, um, it says it's time to heal, it's time for healing, not war. So I feel like some of you guys need some healing on Sunday, get some TLC. I definitely see that y'all need to clean your houses on the weekend or something or on Sunday because I feel like that's what's getting you a little down. I feel like some of y'all feeling down and stuff and that's because it's a mess. If it's a mess around you, it's going to be a mess in your head, right? A mess in your head. It's going to be, um, you're going to be gloomy. You're going to be, um, kind of lazy and just not feeling like doing anything. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, let me check. 
<clears throat> yeah. It'll give you energy though. But yeah, thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification to get updated whenever I post. And yeah, I'm happy to be back, y'all. Oh, but <sighs> yeah, that's all I gotta say. I'm tired for real. So good night. Have a blessed week. I'll see y'all next week.